Here's something else we can do with uh, cans. Now, before we continue, I just want to tell you uh, a lot of the instruments that percussionists use have mallets. Now, these are the balls that the girls play jacks with, and boys too, probably. Uh, what we did was we just stuck uh, knitting needles through the ball to make mallets out of them. So that when you have these lids, this lid is closed at the bottom. But if you open the lids, you can make little drums out of these as well. And this is what we use for sticks or just a dowel and we wrap string around it. Just giving you an idea of how to make simple mallets. I brought some professional mallets to hit on some of the things we're going to be demonstrating. But to make your own mallets from things around the home, these are a simple way to do them. And I, I brought that up because I want to play on this one. What we did here, this is a potato chip can. And we opened it up and bent it, and then we banged nail holes all in this thing so that it, we banged the nails from this side, and it becomes real corrugated. And we put a piece of wood to hold it, and you can make a real guido, is the Latin name for a scratcher. And of course, we can also play on our cheese grater. Another interesting sound. These are oil can poppers. And if you bring them close to your mouth, you can hear how you change the pitch. We use these for suspense a lot in the movies, too. And even a larger one. By putting your hand near the opening, you change the pitch. There's another scratcher device by taking a can and putting a spring on it. I've got two separate springs here so you can get two different sounds. Or and what's wrong with making bells out of cans? You just bang two little holes on the top and put a string through with a nail inside. Now this is an instrument found in India called the Goop Gooby. And what we did was we put a plastic or a nylon string uh, found with with ukuleles or guitar string and put a button at the end of it so that once you put it through it won't come through of course we got excited here and we we kind of went through the thing but by changing uh, pulling on this thing and plucking on it you can change the pitch And we were talking about making mallets. These are the Super Bowls that when the kids drop them on the floor, they really go crazy. The reason for that is because there's such a condensed amount of rubber put into this little ball that 
if if you were to just take this teriyaki stick, which these are, and and puncture it through the the uh, super ball, these are called super balls. You would they would crumble like a piece of bread. So what we usually do is we drill a hole and then stick the the teriyaki stick in some glue and put that into the hole and wait till it dries. Now these work on everything. We're going to work them on some things later, but just so you can hear, even on the table. And the size of the ball gives you the different pitches. And here's a big one. These we used on Planet of the Apes. There you have it.